Well, good morning, everyone. It's Vicki with Crochet with Vicki Joe. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're all having a great day. Um, so today, I just wanted to come on, just a short little video, show you some projects that I'm still working on, getting more done on them. Um, then I have a new project to show you. So let me see here. Now I have this one. Let me try and get my hook out of here. Any noise that you hear while I'm doing this video, I have my dryer running. So it might make some noise a little bit loud. And then I have two dogs under my feet fighting. So you're probably going to hear them. Try to chase them away, but they wouldn't go nowhere. <laughs> so this is the one that I showed you before. Get the right side here. And this is how far I've gotten on it. Let's see it. It's made with puff stitches and triple crochets. I think it's going to be very pretty. Now this is from Crystal, her tutorial. Crystal at Bagel Day. And this one is called the Killer Queen Shawl. And she made hers very, very big. I am going to try and do the same. Oh, no, you know what? That's not the killer. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at another one and thinking, you know, that one's the killer queen. <laughs> so this is the killer queen shawl. Hers measures 84 by 40. And I went ahead and chained the same amount. So um, mine's probably going to be pretty big also. Now, let's see. Yeah, hers was made like with a real uh, richy orange, like a rich orangey color. Very, very pretty colors, like a radiant. Um, mine, I'm making it because this is my month to make shawls, like spring, spring shawls. So that's why I went with this color. So it would be a little bit more springy <laughs> and it is a lightweight a lightweight three and i showed you last time it's the dk colors batik so i wanted it to be a little more airy a little bit more springy so i think it will be um this it is a little heavy though with this yarn but I'm thinking like when I go out to my patio and when I record out there, this would be nice just to have over my shoulders if there's any wind going on. So I'll see. I'll see how long it's going to end up being. But that's my plan, making it the same size. So we'll see. Okay, so that one's in the making and it's going to probably be a while before it gets done. And then, of course, you know that I'm doing this crochet along, and I did post this on Facebook, so many of you may have already seen it. But this is my, let me find my, this is my crochet along that we're doing with Crystal. So I got the third part on there. Still has to be blocked so all of that can lay down but I love and I'm really loving these colors the different colors of green so that one I'm waiting for her next one now my other one like this I I haven't done that one yet I haven't done the part three on that one yet still got to do that I'll get to it though but um yeah, I've been like really tired lately, so I, I think it's been like four or five days since I've been on here. But I've just been like real 
tired and not really feeling like doing anything. I haven't been crocheting during the day at all. Um, only in the evening. I'll pick it up and do a little bit. So I don't know if it's just the weather. I don't know. I feel a little better today. Thank God. I have an appointment today with my lung doctor. I have to, I have that um, sleep apnea thing going on. So I have to go and, and do the pul pulmonary test, breathing test, and just follow up with him. And um, so I wanted to come on here and do a video, at least get one recorded before my daughter gets home and we have to leave. But um, so then I started a new project. Now this one is called, it's a lightweight summer wrap. And this one is, um, I'm thinking I got it mixed up the size. I think this is the 84 by 40. I forgot. But it's a lightweight wrap. Now she calls it pantomime. Pantomime. Mimi. I don't know how to pronounce it. You can go on her site and see it. It's P-A-N-T-O-M-I-M-E wrap. A lightweight summer wrap. And I put on here 84 by 40 so that could be for this wrap. I'm not too sure. <laughs> but I am making it her size and you chain 260. So I might have done it too big because I don't know if I'll have enough yarn. But this is what it's looking like so far. Look at those pretty stitches. I just started on this last night. So see, you can see how long it's going to be. I wanted to go the size that she's doing it because it just wraps all the way around you. And that would be another good thing when I'm out of the patio. <clears throat> I can use that. And I decided to go with this yarn that I was going to make that other shawl and I end up not being able to do it. But with the yarn art flowers. Look at those beautiful colors. I'm sure with the um, size of this I'm going to be able to go through the whole thing and I hope I have enough. Excuse me, my nose is itching. <laughs> and I hope I have enough. I've already used quite a bit here in the middle. So I'm hoping I have enough to complete this because I think it's going to be beautiful. And it's just a two-roll repeat, so that makes it even better. It's the kind, once you get used to the repeat, you can just... Is it a two-roll? No, it's the other one. This is... What is the repeat on this one? Let me see here. Four through seven. Yep, so this one is row, repeat rows four through seven, four, five, six, seven, four row repeat. Okay, so yeah, it's a little bit, but it's still, I, I wrote all, everything out, so when I'm watching TV, I can just follow along with this when I need to. <laughs> but once I get the hang of these four rows, it'll be pretty easy just to, you know, whip right through them. So that's what I'm hoping anyways. But that's my newest project. So that would make so far, if I can get them done, it'd be one, two, three, four shawls for April, if I can get them all done. <laughs> Hopefully I can. But that's what, that's what I'm doing right now. That's what I'm working on. Um, <clears throat> I know the month of April is for the shawls. But I was thinking I also would like to do a bag. You know, a lot of people are do, making these um, 
granny square bags are like totes right now. So I thought I would, I'd like to try that. You know, I've never made one before. So that might be a project. Maybe I'll do in April, if not in May. But I definitely want to try, you know, working on something like that. So how is your day going today? Um, your weather? How's the weather out there? I hope all the flooding stopped out there in Mississippi and I mean Louisiana. I haven't heard anything on it, but I hope everyone's having better weather right now. I haven't been outside yet, but it looks like it's pretty nice. Um, I do have to be out of here probably by 10 to go for my appointment. And um, that's about it. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to be working on. I'm just taking day by day. I did get a piece of new equipment to be able to, because I have a really hard problem trying to find your um, overhead where you can tilt it down. And, you know, when you're doing tutorials, you know, you can um, record the tutorials as you're working on them. It's, it's an overhead um, recorder or stand or whatever you want to call it. So I really have problems trying to find it. I have so many that I have persaged and they don't work. So I got this other one. My granddaughter was helping me set it up. It might work. It does tend to want to fall down. I don't know. But I'm going to try it. So probably this week. See, we're on Wednesday. Maybe by Friday, I will do a tutorial, a new stitch. Um, and I need to do something for my new beginners class. So I probably will show maybe another um, granny square or something like that. But I'm going to try it out. So probably on Friday, I'll, I'll do a tutorial, maybe a couple of tutorials. But um, other than that, I really don't have anything else to show you today that I can think of. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. And thank you all for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the thumbs up and the comments. I really do appreciate it. And um, those of you, I noticed I lost another subscriber, and I do, I am sorry. I know I missed four days, so I just, you know, I hope you come back, watch my videos, and uh, I'll try and do better. Probably, I don't know, <laughs> I'll get there. But, um, just, I just want to thank you for always stopping by and watching my videos and for joining me today or whenever you watch this video. I just hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. Remember that Jesus loves you, and so do I. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye for now.